Hello everybody and welcome to your next Lego 5 tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to finally get our player shown on the screen. We might not get the full animation done but we'll get a player on the screen. So right now I'm at this website called 2com and it allows you to build a character. Now if you guys watch my beginner Lego 5 tutorial series then I believe I have this link there but I will post it in the description just remind me to do so uh, so everybody wants to have their own custom characters in their game so you can use this to create your own custom character I'm not wasting a whole tutorial on doing this right I'm really not I'll just put some basic clothes on it and yeah so I'm just gonna download this image and go to C++ projects Allegro 5 and my image is going to be in here and I'm just going to call this image1.png so it's a png image okay uh so let's go back to our code so we started off the gameplay screen but we didn't really finish off what we had to do so first of all in unload content we're going to call not animation we're going to call game screen unload content quickly okay so for our load content do we even have a file no we don't so let's go to our game screen .h. okay so most uh, most classes that inherit from the game screen are gonna be loading in something right so what we should do is we should include the file manager in our game screen class and just create an instance of the file manager so that every single class that inherits from it can use a file manager so that means the splash screen uh, we don't have to create this we already have one and for the title screen uh, did it load anything I'm not sure maybe not uh, but yeah so let's go back to our game screen uh, game screen .cpp. so we're gonna call file manager well actually we don't even need to load anything for that screen uh, when, not for now at least so what we're gonna do is we're going to include the player class and in the private section we're gonna create an instance of the player class So we will call player dot load content. So load the content in here. We will call player dot unload content. And the update will call player dot update. We'll put Eevee in there, and we have our input because we inherit it from the game screen class, right? And lastly, but not least. Oh, I spelled this wrong but lastly but not least we're gonna call player dot draw okay so if everything goes correctly we should uh, everything should go according uh, to plan so what we're gonna do now is we're going to go to we're gonna have to open up our menus And we'll just say that when they click new game, they'll be brought to the gameplay screen. Now, since we've created a new screen, what we have to do is go to our screen manager.cpp now and add this to our screen directory. We have to remember to do that all the time or it won't be able to find it. So we'll say gameplay screen equals new gameplay. Oh, but we didn't even include that. So just type it out and then screen manager dot H we should have to add that to the top okay so we got that set so let's run this hopefully there might be errors because most times there is errors but hopefully there isn't or it's not too bad
Okay, so uh, we got uh, our screen now. Uh, let's press enter to go to the next screen. Uh, so let me click new game to take us to the gameplay screen. So we're at the gameplay screen now and nothing's showing up. We have we have absolutely nothing. So let's check to see if the player is indeed being drawn. So let's so we do a break point there and it is being drawn. So let's go to our player class. So it's saying position second is at negative whatever that number is right so that means it's it's something to do with the way we're actually loading it in so we got to look at our loading function right here now the problem is is that we're checking for spaces when we should be checking for a comma in our delimiter right uh so let's run this one more time Click new game. The positions are correct. And there we get our whole sprite sheet drawn. Now something just came into my head and I just have to think about it quickly. So one thing that I'm noticing right now is that we are creating a memory leak. And I know this is kind of sounds kind of random, but we are because once we we say current screen is equal to new splash screen right and then we set it equal to this one but we don't end up deleting this right here we don't end up deleting whatever is here right right now so what we have to do is that instead of setting current screen equal to new screen like that then we'll just say current screen is equal to screen directory splash screen so that way we won't actually create a memory leak and i know you guys have been running this a lot of times don't worry your computers are built to that when you you're stop running your computer you stop running your program it'll clean up the memory for you it's just the reason why we want to deallocate it like this and deallocate it ourselves is that because if the person's running your game for hours or minutes or whatever and you you're not freeing memory properly then it will take up a lot of ram and a lot of space on your computer and that's what you don't want so anyways we'll do it this way so that we don't create any memory leaks at all okay and if we run it again it should be the same thing so just to be on the safe side let's run it everything looks fine and we're done so I'm gonna end this tutorial here uh, we'll continue with we'll create like the sprite sheet animation class in the next tutorial and then we'll get into some character movement and stuff like that in in the next few tutorials so I hope you enjoyed this thanks for watching don't forget to comment rate subscribe and bye